In this video, we're going to look at the most common mistakes that people make when they do a normal bodyweight squat or a normal squat. And I'm going to show you how to fix those mistakes so that you can finally reap the benefits of this amazing exercise. <laughs> Hey everybody, how you doing? Peter Carvalho. Now, since I uploaded my push-up video and the biggest mistakes people make when they do a push-up, I had a lot of people asking me, Peter, can you do more videos like this but for other exercises? And so today is the second video and today we're going to look at the biggest and most common mistakes that most people make when they try and do a squat. And when you avoid these mistakes, you're going to finally start doing this exercise properly and start getting the benefits from this amazing exercise. And once I've showed you the biggest mistakes, guys, at the very end of today's video, I'm actually gonna show you one mistake that everybody goes on about and says a mistake, but in fact, it's not a mistake at all. So you should stop worrying about it and rather just focus on proper techniques and avoiding these mistakes I'm gonna talk about today. So the very first mistake is your upper body falling forward as you do the squat. Okay, as you can see here, very, very bad form. And not just when you go down, but also when you come back up. What you want to make sure is that you stack your upper body on your hips, so to speak, so that your hips push your body upwards. You do this by making sure you keep your chest nice and high, not just your head. Then as you go down, you can see it stays nice and high, and then you push it up with your hips. Okay, so try and stack it on your hips, so to speak. So chest out, nice and high. Make sure you don't fall forward, as it's not just bad technique when you fall forward, it also puts a massive amount of strain on your lower back. So just very bad technique all around and you don't wanna do it. So especially when you start adding weight like dumbbells and barbells. So chest nice and high, up and down. The next common mistake that people do is that they go onto their toes. This can sometimes be simply because of hip mobility and ankle mobility issues but you wanna make sure you try and avoid it. Now make no mistake, there are variations like a sissy squat, for example, where you do go onto your toes, but you'll see my upper back is still nice and straight and I'm still having proper weight distribution onto the back of my body. So what you wanna do once again is keep your chest nice and high and then you wanna focus. You can actually see my toes comes off the floor. You wanna focus by staying onto your heels and pushing through your heels as you come back up. As long as you do that, you will see that your weight distribution is 100% perfect. So make sure you don't fall forward and make sure you don't go onto your toes unless that's a specific variation that you are doing. The next thing is stance. So a lot of people actually have their knees fall in, which is a big problem. Remember, squat is a very natural movement. Feet shoulder width apart, toes slightly out, and you go simply down and up. So when your knees fall in, that is something that you want to try and avoid because it puts a massive amount of lateral tension on your knee joint, which is not healthy at all. So what you can do is, like with my push-up tutorials where I showed you how to corkscrew your hands out to get your arms in the right position, you can do the same thing with your feet on the floor. It will also help track your knee over your toe correctly. And then you simply go down, come back up. And that is as simple as it is, guys, to make sure your knees don't fall in. And when you do, it's also gonna help you activate your butt muscles, which is extremely important for doing a proper squat. So as simple as that, guys. And also remember, your hands can be anywhere. I put it in front of me, but it can also do, go down the middle. It can be literally anywhere. Don't worry about where your hands go as such. Do what feels comfortable. Then the next biggest mistake is range of movement. So most people don't wanna go past 90 degrees because they're scared that they will hurt their knees. Complete nonsense, complete BS. You wanna always try and go at least 90 if you can, that's fine. If you're just there and it's hip mobility issues and ankle mobility issues, that's fine. Go 90 degrees, but your ultimate goal should be to go all the way down because that's a proper squat and it's a very comfortable position. I've got no issues with my knees, there's no tension, there's no pain at all. So always try and go all the way down if you can, if your strength permit, and if your mobility permits. Remember, if you can't go yet because of issues, that's fine. Do what you can. Don't push to the point where you feel pain. Always work within your own comfort zone. Then the next one, guys, this is one that a lot of people worry about, and I get this question all along, and you shouldn't worry about it. And this is when your knees go past your toes as you go down. As you can see with mine, it actually goes past my toes, but it's not an issue. Why? Because I'm still using proper technique and it's simply a genetic issue. My levers, my upper thigh and my lower thigh is simply different to most people. 
If, however, your knees go over your toes because of bad form and technique, you need to fix it. But if you use proper technique, you are on your heels, your chest is nice and high, you should not worry about it if your knees go past your toes. It's not an issue at all. So there you go, guys. Pretty straightforward. Try and avoid these mistakes, and you'll be doing this exercise properly with proper form, proper technique, which means you can start reaping the benefits from this amazing exercise. And by the way, for those people who don't know, this is one of the nine bodyweight exercises that I believe everybody should do on a weekly basis. And if you want to see the other exercises, you can go to sixweeksixpack.com forward slash 9EX, and I'll show you all the nine exercises over there. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please make sure you share this with everybody who can benefit from it, your friends, your family members, people who might have not been doing this exercise properly. Like the video, subscribe if you're not a subscriber yet, and put in the comments box which exercise you want me to focus on the most common mistakes in the next video. Until the next one, have fun out there and keep it simple. Bye-bye.